And now, News Channel 10's 24-7 local weather first alert forecast, sponsored by Generator Supercenter of Amarillo. Well, good afternoon. Happy Monday to everybody out there. Main thing we're watching for the Texas Panhandle today will be some strong winds in the area, about 20 to 30 miles per hour coming out of the southwest and the west. So it's going to be one of those setups where we see that fire risk increase for the area. Could see some wind gusts up to 40 or 45 at some points, but that will bring highs into the low to mid 80s today. A good bit warmer than what we saw over the weekend. The wind's probably going to stick around all throughout the rest of this afternoon and into the evening as well. So as you're heading home from work, plan on some windy conditions on your way home. But but starting at about 9 or 10 o'clock, we'll see those winds start to calm down, maybe at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. But that has prompted a red flag warning that goes until 10 o'clock tonight. And we're going to see some dry conditions going into tomorrow as well. Fire weather watch has been issued for your Tuesday. Would not be surprised if this was upgraded to a red flag warning. Now, severe risk mostly out of our area, but I do want to highlight this. Over toward Oklahoma City, over toward the central part of Oklahoma, could be a bit of a historic severe outbreak, maybe a historic tornado outbreak as well. They are on the highest level of a severe risk for today, which is very unusual for the Storm Prediction Center to issue. So if you know anybody over toward Oklahoma that may be in that threat, reach out to them. Make sure they know what is going on for the rest of today. But as far as the Texas Panhandle goes, not really all that much to worry about with severe weather. Just a lot of dry conditions really for the entire week. Warm temperatures for today and tomorrow topping out in the low to mid 80s. Then we'll see a series of cold fronts come through during the end of the week. That'll bring temperatures closer to average down into the low to mid 70s and watching an active setup going into next weekend where we could see a rain chance return to the area.